Hello and welcome to this video from Client Engager. In this video, I'm going to take you through custom fields. This is something we're getting quite a lot of questions on, so we thought it'd be a really good idea just to get a video done to show you how you can edit your custom fields, how you can add to those lists, and how you can create your own custom fields, a bit like I showed you in the AML video the other day. So let's roll those credits and have a look at custom fields in Client Engager. Okay, so here we are back in Client Engager demo account and we're in our settings and I'm going to take you through to custom fields. Custom fields is where you can add absolutely any field you want Client Engager you feel appropriate. So for example, these additional info sections here, these are sat on the front client info page. So if I go, so you can see here they're sat in general info. So if I go to a client, and go to Client Engager, go to the General Info step. As it indicates, the additional info is here. So basically what we're saying is any of the custom fields in that area and the settings can be added to here. Now, quite a lot of people have said, oh, how do we add something to the marketing source or the trades? So let me show you how we do that. So we go back to our settings and we go to our custom form fields. Say we want to change our marketing source and we want to add more options onto here. So we've already got internet, BNI networking, AW, so that's Andy Wainwright, different people's initials. So let's put on here Google. We're going to put on here Trustpilot because I know how much Andy loves Trustpilot. We could go on Facebook. So as you can see, we can just keep adding more and more custom fields here as we want. And we can even set one to be a default, but we don't probably want we don't really want to do that on uh, marketing source. So we'll save that. Now you might want to add more to the trades, so we can just go onto the pencil and we can just go in and we can add so construct. Trust me to choose a word I can't spell. Uh, catering. So as as you can see, you just keep adding to the list. And if you want to reorder the list, you can just drag and drop to suit you. Maybe you don't work with not for profits. Maybe that's something you just don't work with. Well, let's just get rid of that instead then. Maybe you don't work with accountancy firms. Most accountancy firms don't. So let's get rid of that. And then we can just press save. So that's how you add to the list. If you find something that's in a drop down list, it's most likely going to be on a custom field. So you can come in here, find it on this list of custom fields and edit the list by deleting or adding to or reordering that list. We often get asked also the question of how can we record certain details on our additional info page. So maybe you want to do what we've got and we've got a list box that says whether a client has left us a review. So we'll call it review does. Have they left us a review? Do we want to show some client summary? Probably not. We don't want to put in the pricing factors on this time. I'm going to say I want a drop down list. There's if I can see it. And we're going to add yes. And we're going to add no. And we can save that. So if I now go back to my client, go to my general info. And now you can see, as we set it up in the custom fields, we've now got reviewed us. So nice and easy. I can press save and, and that's it, we're done. So that's how we add fields to our drop-down lists. And it's also how we add new custom fields to various parts. 
As I showed you in the other video, in the video about AML, we added two new subheadings with two new different uh, with different questions on, and we can do that by adding a new section. Call it a test, and this is where we can put these additional fields. Do you want a, a general info, servicing and pricing, AML or terms and conditions? So we created the AML risk assessment in our AML video and we created the risk assessment questions in our AML video. Okay, so it's that simple. If you need to add anything onto the drop down lists, just go into your custom fields and add it. If you need to take anything away, go into those drop down lists and delete it. If you need to add new drop down lists, new fields, new spaces to put words or dates, then you just do all that in your custom fields. And remember, you can add custom fields to the general info page, to the AML page, to the terms page, and of course, your pricing page. So hopefully that all makes sense. Any other questions on it, please do get in touch. But I'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. Thank you.